Among the myriad creatures that once roamed our planet, perhaps none ignites the imagination quite as powerfully as the mammoth. Scientists have recovered over 50 frozen mammoth specimens with intact organs from Siberian permafrost, revealing shocking details about these Ice Age giants. These hairy creatures weren't just extinct animals. They were majestic representatives of a frigid era playing vital roles in ancient ecosystems. We're all familiar with their image, the shaggy fur, the impressive curving tusks, but recent discoveries show mammoths ate Arctic sedges and herbs instead of the mixed diet previously assumed from modern elephants. What scientists thought they knew about these woolly giants was about to be completely overturned. For decades, scientists thought they had mammoths figured out. The logic seemed straightforward enough. Take what we know about modern elephants, add some fur and bigger tusks, and you've got a reasonable picture of mammoth life. Early paleontologists constructed entire theories about mammoth behavior by simply scaling up elephant social structures, feeding habits and migration patterns. These assumptions formed the backbone of mammoth research for generations, creating what appeared to be a solid scientific foundation. The first cracks in this elephant-based model appeared when researchers began analyzing carbon isotopes from mammoth hair and teeth. The results were startling. Instead of the mixed grass and browse diet that elephant models predicted isotope signatures revealed, mammoths consumed a completely different range of plants. Their actual diet included arctic sedges, herbs and grasses that modern elephants wouldn't even recognize, let alone prefer. This discovery sent shockwaves through the paleontology community, forcing scientists to question decades of accepted knowledge. DNA analysis of mammoth family groups found preserved together delivered another devastating blow to elephant-based assumptions. Rather than following the matriarchal herd structures that dominate elephant society, mammoth social organization operated on entirely different principles. Genetic evidence showed smaller, more flexible family units that could split and reform based on seasonal conditions, a survival strategy completely absent in modern elephant behavior. Physical evidence from complete frozen specimens revealed even more fundamental errors. Mammoth body proportions differed significantly from the scaled up elephant models that had dominated textbooks for generations. Their legs were shorter relative to body size. Their skulls had different shapes and their overall build reflected specialized adaptations for cold environments that no amount of elephant observation could have predicted. Migration patterns proved equally misunderstood. Isotope analysis revealed that mammoths followed completely different seasonal movement strategies than their modern relatives. While elephants migrate based on water and food availability, in warm climates, mammoths moved according to the harsh rhythms of Ice Age seasons traveling routes that maximized access to specific cold weather, sun of vegetation and shelter from Arctic storms. Perhaps most surprising was the discovery that basic mammoth metabolism operated on completely different principles than predicted. Their cold adapted physiology required entirely different energy consumption patterns with specialized fat storage systems and modified digestive processes that allowed them to extract maximum nutrition from low quality Arctic vegetation during brutal winter months. Ancient DNA analysis ultimately revealed why early estimates about mammoth behavior were completely wrong. The answer lies in the fundamental differences between ice age adaptation and modern tropical elephant survival strategies. Mammoths weren't just hairy elephants, they were entirely different creatures shaped by millions of years of arctic evolution. These revelations opened the door to even more precise scientific methods that would unlock mammoth secrets at the cellular level. In 2021, scientists achieved something that seemed impossible just years before they reconstructed the complete three-dimensional structure of a 52,000-year-old mammoth's chromosomes, revealing secrets locked within ancient DNA. This breakthrough represented a million times more genetic sequence than typical ancient DNA fragments, opening an entirely new window into extinct life. The high C technique allowed researchers to map which sections of mammoth DNA were positioned next to each other inside the cell nucleus, creating the first complete picture of an extinct animal's genetic organization. This sophisticated method identified spatial relationships between DNA segments, revealing how genetic material was actually arranged within living mammoth cells, using modern elephant genomes as templates. 
scientists constructed an ordered map that went far beyond simple genetic sequences to show the actual architecture of mammoth chromosomes. The chromosome mapping revealed that mammoth genes were activated and deactivated in patterns completely different from modern elephants, particularly genes controlling cold adaptation. This discovery was possible because the mammoth specimen underwent a unique natural freeze-drying process shortly after death, preserving DNA in a glass-like state that researchers termed chromoglass. This exceptional preservation prevented the typical fragmentation and scrambling that destroys most ancient genetic material. Mammoths possess the same 28 chromosomes as modern elephants, but the way these chromosomes folded and interacted created entirely different biological capabilities. The fossilized chromosomes retained remarkable physical integrity, including nanoscale loops that controlled how transcription factors contacted specific genes. This level of detail allowed scientists to examine compartmentalization within the nucleus, revealing functional organization patterns that had never been observed in extinct species. Mammoth skin cells showed active genes for producing dense undercoat fur and specialized fat layers that modern elephants completely lack. These activation patterns were particularly pronounced in genes related to hair growth and cold tolerance, highlighting the genetic foundation of mammoth Arctic adaptations. The analysis provided the first measure of cell-specific gene inactivity in any ancient DNA sample, demonstrating how mammoth biology functioned at the molecular level. The three-dimensional chromosome structure revealed that mammoth genes were organized into distinct compartments that controlled everything from hair follicle development to cold weather metabolism. These compartments represented sophisticated biological systems where hundreds of genes worked together in coordinated networks. The genetic blueprint preserved nanoscale details of how mammoth cells actually functioned during their lifetime, maintaining the exact spatial relationships that determined which genes influenced mammoth survival strategies. The first ever three-dimensional reconstruction of a 52,000-year-old mammoth chromosome revealed that mammoth cold adaptation involved coordinated activation of hundreds of genes working together in ways that created biological capabilities no living elephant possesses. These genetic insights complement the physical evidence found in remarkably preserved mammoth specimens. Unlike most extinct animals that leave behind only bones and teeth, mammoths offer scientists an unprecedented window into ancient life through their perfectly preserved soft tissues locked in permafrost for tens of thousands of years. The Siberian permafrost acts as nature's most effective freezer, maintaining constant sub-zero temperatures that halt all biological decay processes. This natural preservation system has kept mammoth specimens intact at the cellular level maintaining the precise structure of skin, internal organs, muscle tissue, and even the contents of their stomachs from their final meals. Climate change now threatens to destroy these irreplaceable specimens faster than scientists can study them. Rising global temperatures accelerate permafrost melting across Siberia, exposing mammoth remains to decomposition for the first time in millennia. Research teams race against time to locate and extract specimens before warming temperatures destroy biological material that has survived since the Ice Age. Each melting season potentially eliminates mammoth specimens that could provide crucial insights into ancient Arctic ecosystems. Stomach contents from preserved mammoth specimens reveal their last meals included specific arctic plants like sedges, willows and various grasses providing direct evidence of seasonal feeding patterns and ecosystem relationships that skeletal remains alone could never demonstrate. These preserved plant materials show exactly which species mammoths consumed during different times of year, revealing complex dietary strategies that sustained them through harsh arctic conditions. The plant remains also provide snapshots of ancient vegetation communities showing how Ice Age ecosystems functioned. Analysis of mammoth fat layers and muscle tissue revealed sophisticated metabolic strategies for surviving months-long Arctic winters with severely limited food sources. Their preserved tissues show thick subcutaneous fat deposits distributed strategically across their bodies, creating insulation zones that retained body heat during extreme cold periods. Muscle tissue analysis demonstrates how mammoths stored energy efficiently converting summer vegetation into fat reserves that sustained them through winter food shortages. 
Preserved mammoth skin samples show the intricate structure of their double-layered coat system with dense undercoat fur trapped beneath longer guard hairs for maximum insulation. The skin reveals hair follicle patterns that produce different fur densities across their bodies with thicker coverage on exposed areas like legs and trunk tips. Blood vessels and organs preserved in permafrost reveal mammoth circulation adaptations that prevented frostbite in extremities during severe cold snaps. Mammoth's perfectly preserved skin and internal organs revealed a sophisticated biological system, including specialized blood flow patterns, layered fat distribution, and fur density variations that created a walking Arctic survival machine. Their tissues demonstrate coordinated physiological adaptations that allowed survival in environments that would quickly kill modern elephants. Understanding mammoth biology helps explain their complex relationship with the humans who hunted them. The relationship between humans and mammoths wasn't just about coexistence, it was a deadly game of survival that ultimately contributed to the extinction of these Ice Age giants through revolutionary hunting techniques and environmental pressures. Early humans developed sophisticated strategies to hunt animals many times their size, requiring coordination, planning, and innovative weapon technology that archaeologists are only now beginning to understand. These hunting methods demanded deep knowledge of mammoth behavior migration routes and weaknesses that could be exploited by small groups of determined hunters. Recent research suggests humans used planted pikes rather than thrown spears, bracing weapons against the ground to let charging mammoths impale themselves with their own momentum. UC Berkeley archaeologists have proposed that this distinctive technique involved positioning the butt of a spear against the ground and angling the weapon upward to impale a charging animal. The force of the charging mammoth would drive the spear deeper, inflicting serious wounds that could bring down even the largest specimens. This method required incredible courage and precise timing as hunters had to remain stationary while multi-ton beasts charged directly at them. This hunting technique combined with climate change that transformed mammoth steppe grasslands into forests created a perfect storm that accelerated mammoth decline. As the last ice age ended approximately 10,000 years ago, the vast grassland ecosystems that sustained mammoth populations shifted into forests and shrublands. This transformation introduced vegetation that was unfamiliar and unpalatable to woolly mammoths, reducing their food sources and making survival increasingly difficult for remaining populations. Evidence shows human hunting pressure accelerated mammoth extinction by up to 4,000 years in some regions with AI models revealing extinction rates increased five-fold after human arrival. A study using artificial intelligence analyzed historical and fossil data for 2,118 proboscidean species, revealing that extinction rates rose dramatically shortly after early modern humans appeared. This research demonstrates that hunting by humans was a major factor in the decline and eventual extinction of these species throughout much of their range. The loss of mammoths created ecological cascades that transformed Arctic ecosystems from carbon-absorbing grasslands into less efficient, mossy wetlands. Mammoth extinction wasn't just the end of a species, but the collapse of an entire ecosystem that had regulated Arctic climate for thousands of years. These massive herbivores had maintained grassland environments through their grazing patterns, preventing the spread of forests and wetlands that released more greenhouse gases than the original grassland systems. The combination of planted pike hunting habitat transformation and coordinated human pressure created an extinction vortex that even these perfectly adapted giants couldn't survive. Scientists are now using mammoth knowledge to potentially reverse this ancient extinction. Colossal Biosciences is editing mammoth genes into Asian elephant cells, aiming to create cold adapted elephants that could restore Arctic grasslands and help combat climate change by preventing permafrost thaw. This ambitious project involves inserting genes responsible for woolly mammoth characteristics into the genome of the Asian elephant, the mammoth's closest living relative. The loss of large grazing species like the woolly mammoth has accelerated permafrost melting and greenhouse gas release. The carbon release from melting permafrost equals burning all the world's forests two and a half times. 
The mammoth story reveals how scientific investigation transforms mystery into understanding showing that extinction isn't necessarily permanent in genetic engineering.